Yo, what's up? My name is Trinsen and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day to gain muscle while staying lean at the same time. So, microphone on my device isn't really working well right now, so I'm going to be using these pair of headphones so that, so that I'm audible and I can get my points directly from me to you. My goal is to build muscle or gain weight, which means I'm going to have to follow a caloric surplus. So, sign up with what a calorie is. A calorie is nothing but a unit used to measure energy and we know food is basically energy. So now that we know what a calorie is, we can get into the details of knowing what a caloric maintenance, a caloric surplus and a caloric deficit is. So, so caloric maintenance is nothing but the daily amount of calories required by a person to maintain his own weight. Uh, a caloric surplus is when a person will have to eat above his daily caloric maintenance to gain weight and a caloric deficit is when a person will have to eat below his caloric maintenance which is to lose weight. It's literally that simple. Also, there's this common misconception where people say they're eating a lot. Usually, people are skinny. They say they're eating a lot and actually not gaining weight. They think they might be eating a lot, but in reality, they're not eating as much as they're supposed to be eating, which is why they're not gaining weight. So, to solve this, let's say this is the caloric maintenance of the person, which is, let's assume, around 1,500 calories. So, to gain weight, he or she is going to have to eat. Uh, around 500 to 600 calories above his maintenance, which is going to be around 2000 to 2200 calories. And it's the same to lose weight also. He's going to eat around 500 to 600 calories below his maintenance, uh, which is going to be around 900 to 1000 calories. Now, when this person says they're eating a lot and not gaining weight, that means they're eating somewhere around 1005 to 1006 or even 1700 calories, which is, uh, which is the number of calories required to maintain their own weight, not to gain weight. So you can actually see where 1500 is and where 2000 calories is. It's, it's really a huge difference. So next time someone tells you they're eating a lot and not gaining weight, you know what to tell them. Now there are going to be a lot of questions raised regarding uh, how do I avoid assuming I'm eating a lot, how do I know whether I'm in a caloric surplus or a deficit, or how do I even generally know how many calories I'm getting into my body. So I know about this because a year ago I was in your shoes, okay, so I, I was really confused, I had a lot of these similar questions. So I found out the answers to this by speaking to a lot of people, watching a lot of videos and doing a lot of research. And now I possess the knowledge to all your answers. And the answer to this is to track your calories, okay, so you want to track whatever you're eating in a day, you want to track your macronutrients, that's your proteins, your fats and carbs. You're going to be able to do this by downloading this app called My Fitness Pal. So there are a lot of other apps with which you can track your food, but this is what I used uh, when I started out and when I started tracking my calories and making some gains. So this is what you want to use too. So this app is available for free on the iOS and the Android app stores. There's also a paid version of this app where you can use some premium features, but according to me, the free version is more than enough to get you started. Without any further delay, let's get right into this video. So it's around 10 a.m. in the morning and I like to start my day off by... That's right, by drinking some water. So this is a really important step because up in the morning, you're going to be really, really thirsty. I don't really know the science behind it, but yeah, drinking water in the morning helps uh, restart all of your organs. It's like starting your car or bike, that's your vehicle every single day. Yeah. Next, I take these tablets. So I have this condition called hypothyroidism. Uh, let's not get into the details, but taking these little guys helps keep my thyroid gland uh, functioning properly and in check. Uh, also, after eating these tablets, I've got to wait for an hour before eating any kind of uh, food or getting any kind of meal in. So, I'll see you at breakfast. So, I'm going to do a little voice over here about the breakfast that I'm having. Uh, so I've been having this oatmeal al almost every single day ever since I started my fitness journey which is about 1.3, 1.4 years ago. So I have oats every sing almost every single day because I really enjoy it. It's really now that I just candy. made breakfast, I'm going to wait for it to cool down. So in the meantime, uh, I'm going to show you how to track whatever we made for breakfast. So for that, you're going to want to open My Fitness Pal. Once you're done logging in, it's going to take you to this page uh, where you want to hit on this block. Here you want to select breakfast, add food and you want to search for whatever pack of uh, oats or whatever you had so I'm just going to find out what this is called it's called Paggy's White Oats so I'm going to search for that uh, I usually don't search or uh, there's a little hack for you so you just press or you just tap on this uh, QR code scanner flip the pack over find the QR code on the pack and you're going to want to have to scan it as soon as you scan it's going to search and yeah directly just pops up so it's the easiest way to do it 
now number of servings serving size <clears throat> I'm going to select serving size I had around 85 grams of oats I'm going to save that and yeah you have it's going to show you how many calories it contains carbs fats and protein so it's really that simple I'm going to check that it's going to show you the small power message called this food is high in fiber and then it's going to subtract the amount of calories from the total goal that you have so this white oats has around 30, 38 calories and I'm going to have to eat 3,122 calories more throughout the day. So I also had some fruit that is a banana, yeah, some 150 grams of banana and an apple. No, not green apple, just a regular apple has 80 calories. I also added some cocoa powder to the oats just for kicks. So I'm going to add that. Mm. Let's see around. So you can also select the uh, unit of measurement here. One ounce. That's I think two. That's around two tablespoons. So yeah, I had around two tablespoons, which makes it one ounce, and that that has around 108 calories. Damn. You can see the total amount of calories what I had for breakfast was 659. That's a pretty heavy breakfast, and I'm gonna keep tracking throughout the day whenever I'm gonna have my meals. I'm also gonna show you. You don't really have to track your water. Just keep drinking like tons of water gallons of water so it's around 11 am now and it's time for me to eat my breakfast or uh, after which i'm going to wait for about an hour and i'm going to go work out this is going to be at 12 12 pm yeah so workouts going to last for about two hours or uh, roughly two or 2.5 hours depending on what i'm going to be working on also once i'm done it's going to be 2 30 uh, in the afternoon which is the right time for me to be getting an, an other meal which is going to be lunch this is a really important meal because once I'm done my workout, I'm really tired. My glycogen levels are going to be depleted. So this meal is really going to help me in refueling and getting me through the day. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so I just showed you my lunch and as you can see, uh, I'm going to be eating some kitchdi some green gram and uh, some paneer so I don't I really don't know what kitchi is called in English we can find out I'm not gonna show you my search kitchi in English okay so kitchi kitchi English it's called polenta anyways I'm gonna get tired of tracking it now and so I'm gonna tap on lunch should we search polenta or kitchi stick with kitchi okay, ch kitchi homemade I had around uh 500 grams, right? 500 grams of kitchdi. That's 533 calories, 110 grams of carbs, and 19.7 grams of protein. So this kitchdi dish contains a lot of dal, which explains the insanely high amount of protein content. Okay, with kitchdi, I'm having some green gram. So let's get that. Search for green gram. Damn, there's a whole family of green gram here. I don't exactly know what answers Google, right? Let's Google green gram. Yes, this is exactly what I'm eating, so switch back to my fitness pal. I think that was my uh, boiled green gram, so yeah, 100 grams of boiled green gram. That contains 105 calories, 19 grams of carbs, 0.4 grams of fat, and 7 grams of protein. Again, something high in protein. And some paneer. So, paneer, I had around 100 grams of paneer, if you remember. That's 8 grams, switch to 1 gram, 100 grams of paneer. It's around 357 calories, 21.4 grams of protein, exactly what I need. That sums up my lunch, which is around 995 calories. It's a really calorie-dense meal that I'm having. Also, there's a little hack for you. Here, when you tap on an item, you, you can see the macronutrients the item contains, right? So, 110 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein, and so on. But here, you don't really see the amount of macros your whole meal contains. So, to see that, you're just going to go rotate your screen swipe down uh, to lunch and here you can actually see every single detail so uh, 995 calories in a whole meal 129 grams of carbs 39 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein really high this meal was really high in protein this is exactly what i need after my post workout I get those gains so yeah so i just showed you how i tracked all the calories that my lunch contained now it's time to get those calories right inside now i'm just going to enjoy my lunch while watching some youtube uh, also, after having lunch, I'm going to drink some more water 
So it's really important to stay hydrated, especially when you're uh, when you're following a caloric surplus, because you're getting a lot of food into your system. So you also got to get the right amount of water. So I drink around four. I think around five to six liters of water a day just to keep things smooth and flowing. So that's that. And also after lunch, I'm just going to take a nap. I'm going to wake up at maybe 4.30 or 5 so I can go get my second workout in, which is not an intense workout. It's just cardio and some handstand practice. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Until then, okay, so I just woke up from my nap. It's around 5.45 uh, right now. So it's time for my next meal, which is four boiled eggs and some Arabian dates in the enchanted lands of Arabia. So this is meal number three of today. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to be tracking it right now, but uh, I'm going to track this meal along with my next meal, which is post-workout meal number two, this post-workout meal. almost 6 p.m. so I've got to go finish what I've set out to do for today uh, so I'll see you at my next meal which is my post-workout meal so it's around 7 30 p.m. right now and I just got done with my second workout session which was more of a cardio and skill based session uh, I'm not going to eat anything right now I'm just going to get this uh, next meal in it's not a fully fledged meal but I'm going to include it as one because this is a full day of eating so Meal number four, protein shake. I don't usually consume these protein supplements, so I don't depend on them. Uh, I've definitely tried whey protein before, but I haven't consumed it on a daily basis. In fact, I make these uh, homemade uh, natural mass gainer shakes, which used to be like high in calories and rich in protein. So I'm not making them right now because of the whole pandemic thing and the uh, situation we currently are in because of which it's not really advisable to keep going out every now and then to keep getting ingredients so i thought going in for a protein supplement during this time would be really smart and uh, a really convenient way to get uh, and a really convenient way to get that uh, dose of protein in no you don't need to go in for a protein supplement uh, as long as you're getting your daily dose of protein uh, through your diet anyways now when i'm having the shake i'm going to be clearing out some common misconceptions and unanswered questions which you might have one of them being what's the best time to get your protein and whether it's or during your pre-workout or post-workout. So there's really no need to brainstorm and get your head over this because uh, as long as you're getting in your daily dose of calories and also your protein uh, spread like evenly throughout the day, you're definitely good to go. So there's <clears throat> nothing much to think about. But also there's this but also there's this thing in the bodybuilding world where uh, these people, bodybuilders, usually train and try to get their protein in within uh, the next 30 minutes after their workout. So this is a 30 minute anabolic window after your workout uh, where this process called protein synthesis happens in our bodies. So as you know, protein is the main building block of your muscles. Okay, so protein synthesis is basically the process of building new protein. Basically, or to be more precise, I would say muscle protein. Okay, so for those of you asking me to speak in English right now, uh, let's simplify this. Let's think of uh, your muscle as a wall and we need bricks to build a wall, right? So let's think of each brick as protein. So muscle protein synthesis is the addition of new bricks to this wall. And uh, this wall keeps getting bigger and bigger, which uh, basically indicates our muscles, which keep getting bigger and bigger over time. You might also have this question about what BCAAs are and if they're actually required. So BCAA stands for branch chain amino acids. So BCAAs are nothing but a group of essential amino acids, which uh, our bodies cannot produce unlike other non-essential amino acids. Therefore, it's essential to get them uh, from a diet. These BCAAs also included in uh, some protein supplements like whey protein or also uh, some plant-based protein uh, supplements. In case a brand of protein powder which you have uh, doesn't have these BCAAs, you can buy them loose from supplement stores. Uh, it's definitely available. Now getting to the benefits of BCAAs, they used to boost muscle growth and enhance performance. They also help to reduce fatigue after exercise. Uh, so that's about BCAAs. <sighs> that's a lot of questions answered and it's definitely more tiring than working out. So. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go take a shot, after which I'm going to be doing some editing and uh, filming. So the thing about editing and filming is it takes a lot of time, okay, it takes a lot of time. Uh, but I but I actually enjoy doing it, so I'm not complaining. And finally, uh, it's going to be time for meal number 
5 which is denote. amazing burgers also I did not make them these are made by my dad all I did was uh, film those amazing shots you just saw before now uh, before eating them I'm definitely gonna track what I eat also I'm gonna have to track uh, my previous meal which was a post-workout shake so that was called evolve yeah plant now when it comes to tracking this uh, dinner I'm not gonna uh, sit and search for each and every ingredient I'm not gonna be that specific I'm just gonna type in chicken burgers also like after tracking for months together i can easily eyeball out how many calories the particular meal has uh, in general like obviously not not really accurate with it but yeah that's really enough for me i'm, I'm going to be satisfied with that chicken burgers so i would say these burgers really have like or uh, maybe 350 to 400 calories each or uh, counting the chicken breast like i think there's around <clears throat> uh, 150 to 200 grams of chicken breast in there and with the cheese and sauce, also a bit of french fries, uh, I think these burgers have around 350 to 400 calories each. So I just got done with dinner, which means I'm going to be popping two or three of these pills, consuming. This is nothing but cod liver oil. It's a type of fish oil supplement, which has a ton of health benefits. Few of them being uh, the rich in vitamin A and B. They improve bone and joint health. They also, they, they also help in reducing the risk of heart disease. So these are just few of the many benefits this amazing supplement carries. You might want to look at them. Now, I've got to give you these five game-changing pro tips, uh, which, which will definitely take your nutrition game to the next level while helping you make maximal gains and help you achieve a dream physique, just like my man, Cristiano. Pro tip number one, eat calorie-dense, nutritious food, uh, add in a lot of fruits and vegetables to your diet. These are really high in fiber and low in calories, which makes it ideal to add to any diet. Also, eating nutritious food is, good, is really going to help with maximum recovery from workouts and also going to aid in muscle regeneration. Pro tip number two, not all fats are bad for you. <clears throat> there are definitely some fats which are called saturated fats which you find in junk food which are bad for you but uh, there are also something called healthy fats which are found in foods like nuts, peanut butter and stuff which are definitely good for you. These are not going to make you fat but they are definitely going to help you in making maximum gains. Pro tip number three, Track your calories, but don't be too hard on yourself. Don't treasure yourself with this. Don't be too precise with it. Just track in general. You, you've got to have a rough idea about how many calories you're getting in. You can do this uh, until about you have a good idea about how many calories you're getting in. But don't assume. You've just got to do this for some time. It's definitely boring, but this is definitely going to help you on your journey. Pro tip number four. Drink lots and lots of water. It's really important to stay hydrated. Really important to uh, keep things smooth and flowing inside your system. Keeping a bottle always next to you is definitely going to help. And reminding you to keep uh, drinking water and stay staying hydrated. Pro tip number five, alcohol. It's really essential to lead a healthy lifestyle and stay on track. But sometimes it's also important to let loose, party hard and crack a cold one. So it's okay to consume alcohol once in a while, maybe on your cheat days. But it really shouldn't get into the way of your training, so do not consume alcohol when you know you're going to work out. So those are my five pro tips that are going to take you a long way in your fitness journey. If you stayed until the very end of this video, I'm really grateful for that. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you could support this channel by sharing this with as many people as you can and smashing that like button. Also, I'm open to any kind of suggestions you guys have for me on how I can better my videos, keep improving and uh, definitely comment down below on what you would like, me, like to see me do better next time and I'll definitely incorporate those tips into my next videos. Also, you could check me out on Instagram as Real Tristan. I post a lot of nutrition and workout videos. I'm going to put up my Instagram handle somewhere on the screen. 
so that's all for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative so until next time keep hustling keep grinding but most importantly keep it real